Hello everybody and welcome back to Ren Gaming. Right, my case has finally arrived. The Corsair Obsidian Series 250D. It's a mini ITX case. Uh, I've been waiting for this for ages. It's been delayed and delayed. Um, I had it on order with Scan and um, it's through no th uh, fault of theirs that they were delayed. But we finally got it and it's actually kind of the worst timing ever. As you know, about three weeks ago I did those unboxings with all of my components for it but I haven't got, actually got time to do the build this weekend so but we're going to do an unboxing I'm going to show you around it uh, first of all we're going to read what's on the outside of the box we have mini ITX without compromise if you want to build a mini ITX system without compromising expansion flexibility or performance the Obsidian Series 250D is your answer though it's small on the outside the 250D has room for standard components like a full size uh, two and a half optical drive um, a full length GPU, a 240 mil, uh, mil radiator and even a full size ATX power supply. Uh, the sleek aluminium front fascia provides the striking yet subtle design the Obsidian series cases are known for. And a top window gives you a close view of your performance components. The 250D is a great choice if you want full size performance in a small space. And again, this is in French and as you know I do not read French. Um, compact size, so it's 299 uh, sorry, 290mm high, 277 wide and 351.2mm long, uh, that's 11.4 inches, 10.9 inches and 13.8 inches. Uh, it's great for dorm rooms, desktops, bookcases or anywhere else space is an issue. Well, I'm actually going to build this for, um, I, st I started the build originally just for a, um, so I could have a PC in the bedroom. I had a load of components set around. Um, and you know it is when you've got a load of PC components set around you don't use them you sell them and buy a whole new lot so um, material it is made of black steel and anodized black aluminium it's got 140 intake on the front and it's got 120 uh, fan included on the side um, the front you can fit a 200 a 140 or a 120 uh, side dual 120s and rear dual 80s and I wouldn't really bother with 80s I have to say uh, radio compatibility side mounted 240 you can also fit a H80 in the front and I would imagine you can fit a H75 in one of the slots where you can fit the H100i um, you should be able to, I might even be able to get the H uh, the H80 in there but because of the thickness of the radio I don't think it's going to fit on the side um, it's got two expansion slots, uh, it's mini ITX motherboard, the front I.O. is a USB 3x2 headphone and microphone and power supply support ATX obviously which is not included. So, pictures! I'm not going to go too mad, we've already read what you have to read. Now if at any time you do see my incredible uh, Hulk pyjamas, it's because it's Saturday and I'm having a chilled out day. So, the trusty tool of unboxing. One thing scan do, excuse me, is pack these up tight. One thing you can't fault scan with is their packing. So let's have a look. So inside, excuse the shadows, we have the receipt from scan, which none of you really want to see, obviously. And then the case, so let's try not to kill myself while I take this out. I think what I'll do is make a cut, and I'll be back in a second. Right, there we go, we've popped the, uh, popped the box away. As you can see, it's well packaged, as you would expect from Corsair. And as I say, I've not been in here, so I don't actually know what's in it yet. First things first, Obsidian Series 250D, the instructions, and the warranty. So, instructions, the instructions are in different languages, blah 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 so that's what's included, tie wrap screws, how to build it beautiful Actually, let's do this properly because I'm not doing the build so we'll pop it all back where it needs to be anyone who builds PCs or in fact anything that you buy new and this is the best bit when you're unpacking it for the first time have a look at what you've got So, is it in shot? Yes it is, this is the front of the Corsair 250D, um, with these very small bits of tape on here, which we're going to have to take it off. Uh, 
A little concerning the front panel's hanging off. Hopefully it's not broken. No, there we go. But it certainly looks very nice. Um, this pops out with a removable dust filter there and there. So it's got the 140mm fan included um, with a fan grill on it as well by the look of it to stop any cables getting caught because that's where the um, that's where the PSU sticks through. Uh, how simple is this to put back? Very very simple. We like simple. Brilliant. Easy as that. Um, on off button. Reset. USB 3, headphone, microphone. Right, onto this is the side where the uh, GPU is going to be. Well, we'll see with these sunscrews are done up tight. Okay, we're going to need a screwdriver for them. So, um, as you can see, there's a cutout here, so the GPU will be sucking cool air straight through here, and it is filtered as well. There's a magnetic one on there. Onto the back. Now, these are the twin 80mm uh, fans, which I have to say, are probably not necessary. They, of course, they probably could have done something different with that. But um, you know, if you if you need it, which you shouldn't, then there we go. Um, PSU. This is for the rear I/O. Dual slots for your um, GPUs, um, which can be up to 300 mil uh, long, so it can take a full size one. And then onto the back side. This is where you can fit a H180, uh, sorry, a, a, a H100i. You can get a 240mm radiator in, in here. Uh, it's up to you whether you have it pull or suck. A lot of people are saying the best thing to do is to get all the air coming in through all the holes and come out of the 80s at the back. I'm probably going to have intake, intake, then I'm probably going to have it blown out. More for, for aesthetics, to be honest, because the I've got um, Corsair. AF one one twenties to go on the side, and with the with the blue rings or the the white or the the, the red rings, depending on what you go for, it's going to look lovely. Um, and then onto the top, spin this round. Be gentle with it, Mister Renier. There we go. So we have the cutout in the top there. So when you look down, you can see the motherboard tray. Obviously, that's going to look very sexy with a nice cooler on there. So if you if you have a a H one hundred, you'll be able to see the Corsair logo light up. Um, air cooling. Without the um, drive bay in, it's, I mean you can fit them. They're, they're going to be pretty massive. I think up to 90 mil or something. But um, I'm going to walk cool it. Well, I say walk cool. I've got a H. I've got a H80 spare. H80 spare. So that'll be going in. Onto the bottom, PSU is dust filtered, as you can see, uh, which is fantastic. Right, I am going to make another cut. Bear with me again, I'm going to get a screwdriver, I'll be back in a tick. Right, so I have my trusty screwdriver of, of doom. Well, these thumb screws are very tight, which I was surprised about actually. Now I'm going to go around and loosen everything, because I am going to strip it down completely so we can have a look inside. Um, there are a lot, maybe Corsair could have done something different than present us with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 thumb screws on the back. But there you go. Again, it's one of those th thrilling Ren Gaming videos where I take out thumb screws. Okay, where do we start? Start with the top. Don't start with the top. Yeah, there we go. So with the top off, I'm hoping this has got a plastic. It has got plastic on there to keep it scratch free. Uh, so you can see the window, which it looks like you can pop out should you want to, and replace it with something else. So with the top removed, we can see inside now. Full size five and a half here for your drive. Should you want one, I'm not going to use an optical drive in it. Um, See the motherboard support here. All of the internal cables appear to be black, which is lovely apart from the HD audio. Nothing a black pen or some sheathing won't sort out. Okay. So 
So this is the radiator side. Lovely. So these magnetic dust filters which pop. Oh, they should pop off, but that one is being very naughty and will not come up. Because they're supposed to come off like that. There you go, they're supposed to be stuck. Anyway, very clean looking panels anyway on it, which is nice. So and as you can see on this side, this is where your 240 uh, rad's going to fit. I mean, you don't have, obviously have to use an all-in-one. You can, you can water cool it. I mean, if you think about it, you can have a 240, you can probably even get a, a, a 140 in the front. You're going to have to be a bit creative with where you get your reservoir, but I'd say if you had a, one, a, a 120 mil radiator here, you could fit a pump, you could even fit a pump combo um, unit in, in, in the drive if you wanted to, but I mean, most people wouldn't, they'd want a reservoir down here with a small pump. Um, yeah, looking good so far. Right, so, this side. And it's a real shame I'm not going to have time to do the build this weekend because I've been hyped for it. But because the case was so delayed, um, I've got other things to do and it's a damn shame. I was looking forward to it. And I don't want to start it only to you know, not be able to finish it. So, there we go. This is the other side panel with the same removable uh, magnetic dust filter on. So this is the GPU side, so as you can see your motherboard's going to sit along here. Um, GPU wise, uh, I've got a small... Now they say... Let's do it in centimetres. They say with the motherboard, GPU slot, like you're talking about this much room, about 130, between 120 and 130. Now tiny Tom Logan was saying he had some trouble getting the Asus Direct CU2 in because of the massive heat pipes um, and I've got a, a MSI GTX 770 which is going in here so hopefully fingers crossed we're not going to have any trouble now this drive cage is supposed to just pop out but I think we're going to have to unscrew it bear with me while we do more unscrewings because I don't want it in there because it's going to be in the way Well, it's going to be in the way for the build. I think I'll put it back when we. Um, I think I'll put it back once I've routed all the cables because it hides that whole front area when you look at it from the top. There we go. So the drive cage just pops out, leaving lots of room for when you want to route your cables. So the PSU comes through, there's no restrictions on length with these. Um, they have shown it with an AX1200 which is about that long. And I've got an a AX760 which is going to go in there. Um, I believe this comes out somewhere as well, although maybe it does not. Anyway, so yeah, we've got lots and lots of room to play with in here. Um, I've also bought a lot of splitters for the fans and stuff, so that isn't going to be an issue. A quick look at the back. Uh, this is where the hard drives sit. I hope, I hope the box for the um, of all the goodies is in here as well. And it is. So we've got these tallest tallest drives. Um, sorry, tallest sleds. So we've got two, three and a halfs and two, two and a halfs. Might have a concern there that they are very close together than two and a halfs. But I've got um, a, a Samsung 840 SSD going in. I was going to stick a, a smaller 503, so I might, I might stick it in one of these as well. Um, this obviously pops off, bolts onto the back of your PSU. So let's see what we've got in the box. So, <laughs> of course they're not being the most uh, generous people here. We have four cable ties, um, lots of different types of mounting screws, fans, motherboard, 
and spares. There's no spare case fans. Uh, sorry, case fixings, but should not matter. So there you go, guys. Um, the 250D. It's been a long time coming. I've been waiting for this. Well, for over uh, six weeks now. Um, but like I say, I really can't wait to get the build started. But it's probably going to have to be next weekend. You know, I was thinking about putting the what the H80, and I don't think it's going to fit with the motherboard in it. I think we might have to. We might have to have a good think about how we're going to do this. Anyway, uh, thanks very much for watching, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe, and all that rubbish. And I'll see you all very, very soon.